third phase of moon. Are you kidding me? What are we looking at right now from South America? Coming in to us via our Facebook incredible footage of what looks to be a mothership hiding in the clouds. You got to look at this, guys. All right, we've been seeing a lot of interesting weather phenomena coming in from around the world. But I got to say this, when I first saw it, was something special, something incredible within the cloud. We're doing some brightness contrast, adding some uh, enhancement to this so we could make out whatever is hiding or cloaked within this. Take a look. If this is a cloak mothership within the clouds, it's massive. It is something to behold. Uh, we have Brent Cousins here. He's looking at the same footage I'm looking at. And right away, we're seeing in the chat line too, people are saying this is something big. It's something big within the clouds. Brent, what do you make of this? Like there's something large. There's a mass within the clouds cloaking as people are saying right there in the chat too. I'm reading it as it comes in. It's coming in fast. People are very excited about what we're seeing here. This is simply amazing what we're looking at. And I do believe this is some of the best proof of possibly a large cloaked mothership within the clouds, Blake. Yeah, if you look closely, you could see definition uh, around the diameter of this thing. Something massive, it looks metallic. It's definitely something incredible. Uh, we're not saying it is a mothership, we're just saying it does look incredible and we wanna get your opinions from around the world of what you think we're looking at right now, Brent. Yeah, I'm looking at the, in the chat right here and Shadow Hunter says this is something otherworldly cloaking within the clouds. He believes it's a mothership. Thanks, Brent. Now let's get to this incredible photograph just into our Facebook. This is uh, quite incredible. All right, now this gets quite incredible. Coming in from Dennis Love from Milwaukee of a flying saucer uh, in the eve of night. Seems stealthy to me, seems quite interesting. He captured these with his Samsung. Let's take a look at the photos. Uh, there is some enhancement so we could get some clarity. What are we looking at right now? It looks to me like there is some kind of major activity over Milwaukee at the moment, obviously. But is there some other kind of presence above the skies over there? Look at this. Look at this. Uh, definitely not a drone. Not a weather balloon. This is something amazing over the skies. Something big. Again, there's so much evidence coming in tonight. This is uh, quite exciting. Uh, Brent, what do you got to say about this? Like, this looks dish shaped to me. I'm wondering, uh, everybody from Milwaukee, I know we got fans out there. Tell us if there's blimps out there in Milwaukee. People might say this is a blimp. I, I don't think so. This is something else, what we're looking at. I do like the headlights. He says well, he pulled off right on the side of the road and traffic was going by. Yeah, I noticed the headlights, right? That is quite interesting that uh, Dennis managed to pull up to the craft and he could see it reflecting off the tree there. And then whatever is in the background there is definitely, I don't think a blimp because blimps have light indicators they are required by the faa to have some kind of green and red light a flashing light underneath and this is definitely stealthy it's it's trying to hide in the night sky just as the evening arrives over there in milwaukee uh i don't know i don't know what to make of it blake i see unique structure underneath this craft actually when we see this photo right here you can tell that this is no blimp this is something else could it be a large drone? And if it was, this thing would have to be 
at least the size of a car or maybe two cars that'd be one hell of a drone and there were there was no noise people said there was no noise whatever this object was that's right and if you're in milwaukee today august 16 2016 let us know if you've seen anything weird in the skies uh, tonight we want to know and we want to thank dennis uh, love for sharing this incredible uh, imagery to us right now now this is coming in from guatemala central america francisco Ligoria captures this from his balcony august 13th uh, what are we looking at right now it looks quite amazing in my opinion we want to hear your opinions right now what is hovering over the treetops it's definitely a flying shaped metallic craft of some sort in my opinion hovering over the canopy uh brent what do you make of this francisco's out of guatemala what a great ufo researcher and we need more of you guys out there people are saying in the flash chat this this is a good photo they think this is legit and i'm thinking this is also a legit photo i don't see no photoshop i do see something within the craft it, it's not just a disc there's a different shape within it it gives dimension there's there's something going on with this photo and it's it reminds me of that movie that's coming out the arrival and it has that same pitch coming down is this uh the new thing that's maybe the truth coming out in a soft disclosure well hollywood and the government I, i'm sure they have a close close relationship in regards to this uh ufo phenomenon happening right now i'm curious on how big this craft is i would have to say have to be somewhere in the diameter of at least 20 to uh, 30 feet in diameter. This thing's quite large and it's no weather balloon people or a drone. What did Francisco capture in Guatemala? Well, that's what we want you, the people, to share your opinions. That's what it's all about. This is Third Phase of Moon. We are standing by 24 7. Everybody keep your eyes on the skies. Let me tell you, we are not alone and things are happening real fast. Stay tuned for more updates. Subscribe, Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time. This is flight. We're tracking three fast moving objects. Uh, origin unknown. Third phase of moon and master music artist Paul Barron is back with his second album. Eleven brand new soundtracks out of this world. Heard over a hundred million times. Available on iTunes right now. Paul Barron's Third Phase of Moon. Alien Nation. Phase. Okay.